Hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Stranded Alien Dawn. Oh, look at us go. We're getting fairly organized. Um, so at the moment, we do have low food. This food's rotted away because we sort of prepped poorly. And we're researching fridges, right? Which I guess makes sense. Oh, that's cool that four is my research. My goodness, look how big that tree is. So, yeah, a fridge solution, I think, is probably going to be big. Working out how I'm going to sort of run my little town will be interesting. Um, one thing that comes to mind is the way that air conditioning is presumably going to work. So we've got a vent system. A la, if I, I can't really build isolated hats, uh, hats, huts, unless I want to actually put a vent system in every single one or put a, put a, 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 a heater and a cooler and everything, right? So we're going to be encouraged. She says that hitching again. I don't know what's causing it. Um, we're essentially incentivized at least from a temperature management perspective, to make one big building. You know what I mean? Now, someone said that these guys might actually eat my food. I'm pretty sure someone said that. So let's, let's have a look into fences, fences, fences. Wait, didn't, don't I have... Oh, there we go. Defense. Speaking of, what's this fucking bloke up to? Is he up to no good? Oh, he's eating that bark stuff. Can we observe him without killing him? Someone go have a squiz. Watch him from afar. Meat lure. That attracts carnivore animals. Alright, so if I were to build... Uh, like a stick fence. Alright, well that throws a fucking spanner in the works for everything, doesn't it? Wait, so walls don't technically take up one of the squares. But fences do. Well, shit. I don't even know what to tell you there. So you can have a wall up against a fence? Is that what's going on here? That's so... weird. How are we going to deal with that? God, this hitching shits me, man. I think last episode we didn't have a single bit, and then now we do. So I don't, I don't even know. It's some sort of internal problem. Right, so if I was going to fence all this off, though... It's going to be a pain to get that neat and tidy. And they definitely go... Yeah, 6x6 six six I can't really do much about. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could go to eight by eight. Well, I don't know. We don't really have a rule for a perimeter. Oh, actually, that's an interesting point. See, if I was going to make a perimeter around my whole base, I'd probably do two space and then something like this, right? Let's get that started there. We'll start fencing everything in. Now, there's two types of gates. Again, we didn't cover this tutorial on the video. You've got the fence, which is sort of just this openable... You can use it to sort of try and help 
path the creatures in a certain way. But you've got this fence door, right? Provides access through fences. It's just a side, a side little door that I don't believe the AI, like the enemies can even acknowledge is there. So you could just make an enclosed compound with fence doors. And the only way that they're going to get in is by uh, breaking through. Someone's still observing it. I don't know. Let's keep making fences, shall we? Was it a fence door that I've made by accident there? Oh, whatever. Honestly, that'll work. Can we run it up against the wall and it... I think that probably counts as sealed. Not 100% on that one. Okay. Let's just run it up to there. That's something. That's a start, right? Have we finished observing these bloody blokes? Come on, I want to eat him. How's our research looking? Grim. Probably because some prick keeps queuing up fences. interesting that the drying rack has a temperature stat. Nothing else does. Can we build the large drying rack inside? Oh, it looks like you can actually. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Can I just copy this blueprint, the floor? Wooden wall, wooden floor, copy. Shit, what the fuck's going on with these stairs? It's a bit weird. <laughs> oh well, as I do. It's not really going to work, is it? No, nope, I think I have to wait for that to build before I can queue that up. I, th I think we're doing alright, our colony's doing okay. Wait until the real big boys start attacking us, that'll be interesting. I mean, I'm assuming that's, that's how it's going to escalate, right? Risk of Meltdown Carter. Alright, hang on. Ravenously Hungry. It says low food. That doesn't mean no food, right? Getting pumpkin to eat. Go eat some eat, you dickhead. Burnout. It's always do this, do that. I must relax. I must do something to distract myself from the hardships of life. Burnt out or burnout, they're two different things. Burnout means you're a fucking loser, right? But burnt out means you're flat. However, oh, I guess there's a dartboard. Did we build a punching pole in the end? There's the dartboard there. You know what, you can have a punching pole. I'm feeling nice. Insufficient Muriel? Mm -mm, Muriels. Are you gonna harvest these? 
Oh, whatever, just harvest this. Alright, has this bloke been observed fully? Oh! Discovered a dracker. Look at him. The patterns on the back of that animal with the big flat head are very similar to those of the small drac insect native to my home world, so I felt like naming it Dracker. Well, fair enough, I can see that. Much to my surprise, it seems to be a peaceful herbivore. The elevated position of its eyes allow it to keep watch for predators in danger while feeding. If cornered, it can defend itself with long, strong four legs whose claw-like endings seem quite intimidating. Right. So, what you're saying is this thing's fucking edible. Can I... I don't believe I can train... it. Let's go get it. Get some. Hunters without range weapon 4. Yeah, well. Get him! Get him! Mate, that was pretty straightforward. Good work, Samantha. 50 meat. That does not seem like much. Someone's crafting a spear, so that's good. Unarmed? Oh, there you go. I was, I was, I was like, where is the warning for that? I think it was just a little bit slow to pop in. Yeah, so people are changing out their shirts, which is good. New apparel, summer shoes. Wait, when you say that, you mean as in I crafted summer shoes for the first time? Summer shoes, there you go. There we go. Risk of meltdown. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Few fun things to do. What, what is this punching pole, buddy pork chop? Use that. Shooting target. Let's put that there as well. Armchair. Used for relaxation. Mate, I'm feeling particularly generous. Though we do need some cloth. What's going on with the food situation? Eat it before it rots. I guess we have gone through all those pumpkin things, eh? Can I scavenge this? And maybe get emergency supplies? I guess I could hunt the, the Drax. 60 meat, let's go. Gag reflex. <laughs> About to rot away. Combat's increased. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh. Maybe I need to put a torch out there so they can go punching in the night. Disturb sleep. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, I guess we've got food up here. Raw food. Enough for 10 meals. Edmund is sitting, okay. Put a stick extension on the old house, eh? Do 
do something like that. Bum 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 bum. Aggressive animals, here we go. Good, we'll eat them. We'll eat them up. Risk of meltdown, about to rot away. Rain? Walking in the rain is unpleasant, but sleeping soaking wet is outright horrible. Right. On the other hand, it's great to boost plant growth. Oh. Well, there you go. Ooh. Bit of hay. I don't believe we we're having any storage issues. I think the game actually warns you when you run into storage issues. Alright. Just business as usual. This is doing all right. When I haven't been anal about the about the priorities, not yet. I probably should. We'll, we'll fight this wave first. Carter's having a meltdown. Completely uncontrollable. Well, Carter's off the bloody reservation. It was bound to happen. Okay. I, oh, he's back. Carter's bloody switch back on. Here we go. Oh, I'm clicking on you, Carter. Go get some. That's it. Cover Sam so she can get the shots in. Oh, here comes another way. Mate, handled like champions. Oh! I think they're all sick or something. Okay. See if they won't. Everyone's resting up, but needing treatment. <laughs> Healing self? Oh, that's interesting. New resource, dried meat. Hey, someone's put the red meat up to to cure. That's good. Is that a whole 50 block? Jeez, that's an entire corpse. Fuck yeah. Might have to hunt another one, eh? Oh no, this guy's already flagged for hunting. Wait, is that the... Oh! Oh! That was the previous red meat. Okay. Sure. Illness? Carter? What's going on here? Six survivors require bed. Medicines may also be required for treatment. Right. We'll see how he goes. Because I think we might be limited on the medicine front. Got bandages and first aid kits. I think that will be fine. I think he'll be alright. Yeah, there you go. He's good. Oh, harvested the, the bark or whatever from over here. From our old farm. Alright, don't forget to harvest this. Now, we should be able to get their fats, right? Now, how were we going to do that with this? The bloody oil press. Oh, speaking of, wasn't there another thing I could do? Animal fats. It uses raw red meat. I mean, we'll queue it up. We just want to be cognizant that it doesn't, they don't just use all the meat that we should be eating <laughs> instead of turning it all to fats. All right, I did threaten to look at activities, all right? Handle, construct. All right, so they don't seem to have stats like basic. Oh, what is this? Oh, I think we aggroed the Drackers. Uh oh. Oh shit, run Samantha. Oh no. <gasps> Samantha's fleeing, so she's she's just 
decided to do her own thing. Will they attack if I get near? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna... Jesus, Samantha got fucked up. Skull fracture. Ah, she'll be right. Okay, well that's interesting that they don't just carry on into your base aggro. They just deal with the hunter. Because that's... That's a bit of a problem in RimWorld. Alright, so she'll be on the mend. But, uh... Might have to put off hunting for a little while. Pointy red plant. Observe that, please. Oh, what's this? Tube plant. I'll take an observe on that as well. Peculiar bush. We probably should stop observing, but yeah. Let's cut these buttermelons. Otherwise, we're going to die of starvation. Um, geez, I was attempting to manage the activities. Right, so heal, construct, harvest, cut, scavenge, deliver, hauling items. Yeah, that's the closest thing to a sort of just passive. Now, at a blush, it doesn't tell me... Oh, hang on, hang on. Intellect. Why is... There's no one's passionate about delivery? Okay, sure. Okay, so what would be a good system here? Presumably five is the lowest. So... Let's start with that. And then I guess they don't really have passion, do they? Because I've noticed that it sort of references it as interest. See, like, is there someone that... See, farming indifferent. Healing. Yeah, so they don't have, like, a, a passion. Or if they do, it's not necessarily overt in the stats. Because that's something that we would potentially stack. Um. So, interestingly, what we could do, and it might be not great for the colony in the short term, but we might be able to manage a priority system... ...where... We make the worst dude do it to get their skill up. You know what I mean? We'll put everyone on five. All right, let's put a Carter on one for heal. Okay, handle. Oh, hang on, mundane tasks. Supplying fuel to devices, opening windows. Hmm. We might actually put that priority one for everyone. Same thing for deliver. Doesn't seem to be a cleaning component. Edmund is shit house at, at that. Paulette is a terrible hunter. Um. Samantha. Annette. Alright, let's just do that for the moment. It's not that radically different from our current priority system. But, uh... I guess they've been handling sort of free-for-all just fine. Food supply, two days. Okay.
Edmund is just vomiting into the campfire casually. Very good. Well done. Low food, four days. Well, that's okay. We can work with that. Yeah, so we've got a pretty long tail on just crafting. You know, as much as I'm trying to min-max my colony, well, get everyone good across the board, maybe I should also just live in reality and not worry about it too much. What if... I don't know how many characters we can actually get. Tailoring, though... Where is it? Craft? Am I missing it? Heal, handle, construct, hunt, harvest, cut, plant, scavenge, mine, cook. I suppose craft just covers everything. And it is interested. Oh, okay, in brackets is their relative interest level. Ah. All right, well, we're definitely making an it a one for that. Right, yeah, okay, cool. Now we have some interests. I didn't realize. I thought the interest might have been tied to their, uh, their actual skill level. Okay. Yep, done. That's all the interest. That'll do for now. So hopefully that will help manage their mood. Well, Samantha's on the mend, which is good. No one's doing research. No one wants to do it. Now, I could force someone to be a research bitch, but... I do like the idea of sort of letting the game run itself as best as possible. Bit more rain, get the get the crops growing. It's getting there, isn't it? How's our temperature? Can I move windows? Oh, yeah. Might just leave them there in that corridor inexplicably for now. Ooh, harvesting away. Lots to do. Risk of meltdown, Samantha. Crushingly unhappy. Moderate pain. Enough variety. Many fun things to do. Well, there we go. See, someone who's actually giving me good positive feedback on the colony. Allah, uh, telling me what I want to hear. Can you do multiple floors? I don't know about that. Wedding arch. I mean, I could just buy it because then it's done. See if people actually have an interest in that sort of thing. Like, it might be a case of they don't get married until the item is there. I don't know. Lighting. I mean, no one's really complained about lighting. But just about everything we could need there. Large drying rack. We could always move it later.
All right, hang on. Tasty recipes. Meat stew. Until one. Veggie stew. Until one. So it uses oils and fats and vegetables. Aha. And what stopped me from making the others? Bread. Grain. Okay. Oh, research is back on. Items are being produced in storage. Well, apart from just letting it run at the moment, there's not, you know, a lot to do. Well, I'm sure I can find things to do, but you know what I mean. Just sort of let it, let it fill out all the different crafting items that are required. Anyway, cool. This game's great. We're getting there. Um, it was interesting seeing Sam get her head kicked in. Like, not that I wish it upon her, but at the same time, it's good that the game's pushing back a little bit. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly call this difficult so far. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. I might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.